Welcome back, everybody, to another episode in Scum. So, we are still on this roof at the lake, and a big thank you to everybody who watched, liked, and commented on the last video. Very much appreciated. And it looks like this is the property of choice. Now, I've just noticed... I don't know if you can see them. They're very well blended in, but we'll uh, we'll give it a shot. So I've logged in on this roof and puppets. There's none to be seen. Oh wait, I take it back. It says one all the way out there. I know my character's very hungry. Obviously they're not gonna spawn on the lake. But, there are a few rummaging around. So there's one there. Oops. <laughs> Shit. Oh wait, I ain't got any arrows. Have I not got any arrows at all? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's alright. Don't have to worry about letting it go then. Oh no, I had one arrow. Oh, he didn't see me. So there's one all the way out there. I did see one wandering around that way. Such a good zoom on this. Oh, you can just see her, just in the, just in the forefront, just to the left. There she goes. Anybody else? Anybody else? Of course, the sun goes in now. There's definitely, there's definitely a few here. I'm thinking if I'm going to start building, which is going to be today's episode, why not? Let's put some roots down. We could do with these zombies not being... Or not interrupting us, I should say. So, shall we... No. Shall we see what happens? Ah! There we go, all the way out there. Now, I, you could just about see just where my dot is. That's the start of the trenches. The trenches are just behind this rise. There's another one. So we've got him there. They, God, they blend in well. Two. Is that another chunk? Definitely got the two up there. Should we see how many there are? I don't know how much of a pickle this is going to get us into, but you know what? It's all about having fun. I just could have picked a shoot one and they fall. Right. Let's just see how many come running. <laughs> Quite a few. Any more for any more? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, it's some called Horde. Wait. Hang on. There's only another two there, wasn't it? He's so noisy. took that point blank to his face. Oh, there's the horde call. I just want to see. How many more came running? Oh. Well, this is worth doing. Get our basic hand skill up. Oops.
sun is the sun's going down, I think, possibly. Well that was everybody, so let's see. How many we got? One. Cause that was definitely less, wasn't it, than the uh the B two horde. That was men that was mental. One two yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Including the horde. I think it called like another two. So this wee little f uh, homestead, I suppose. Definitely on the old low threat. Um, yes. I... I don't think I want any more of that. But, you know what? I'm going to take these. And the next time we go to the traders, we'll see how much we get for them. Right. Is that everybody? So, first things first, let's get some food. Because we are hungry. And I think, somewhere, we got an MRE. Here we go. Eat. Leftover from the drop. The drop with the bear. It should always be known as the, the drop with the bear. So, this was, I think, the primary choice because we've got the little cabin. We can lay a bed down in there. I mean, it doesn't really matter, actually, because we can always rest on the bed that's in in the cabin itself. We've got the barn, so some extra space there. But, we've got the lake. So, we'll have to, we can, oh, I didn't mean to do that. We can build a jetty out, depending on how far my flag goes. Mm, this is going to be interesting. What if I just put my flag right in the middle of the field and then it'll cover? Because we're not going to get a boat in here. Not until the devs, if that's ever going to be a thing, that you can hook a trailer up and buy a boat and put the boat on the trailer and then, you know, bring it back and launch it type thing. Because look, that's perfect for launching a boat. And then, yeah, we can go fishing. We get fishing. The other thing I want to test out is whether you can get a, a fire in there. But I need to put a flag down. And we're just going to have, look, a constant supply of little wooden logs. Oh! And stuff. And, as uh, Ronya, I think, rightly pointed out, we've got this oven, which we need to hook up, I guess, to a Jenny or a propane bottle or something. I haven't done... The Crocs are still here. <laughs> I haven't done any of... I haven't done... I don't think I've done any cooking in Scum, actually. I never got round to it in the last season, and I certainly have never done any fishing, even though that's been in for quite a while. But we've got... Yeah, we got little wood, wood piles. The only thing I'd probably want to do is just build some sort of barrier from here to here. Just to cut the old line of sight from the uh, from the puppets. Having said that, the trees are still... It'd be a nice, just a little nice sort of covered, like a big carport or something. <laughs> So, that's this episode. We're going to do some building. And that last drop. I thought I'd pop it then. That last drop gave us a chainsaw. We don't really possibly have any extra fuel for it. Probably should go to the petrol station and fill that up. Oh, should we do that? Should we do that? Should we chance the petrol station? Because I feel like we're going to need plenty of fuel. 
Um, so, oh, we got plenty of bullets. Let's load this up. Yeah, I think that'll be the plan then. The petrol station is just, we're going to cut across this field. We'll cut in where, um, I had, the, you'll recognize the farm that we cut in by and the petrol station's just up by that. So actually, not a bad position at all, to be honest. Let's see what we can chuck in here. Not a lot. Let's just chuck it in here. Let's just chuck everything in here. Oh, no, I want that. Put that back. Load that up. Put the suppressor. Did I, I put the suppressor back on, didn't I? Yeah. Does our character need a drink? No, not really. Not right now. Uh, and you know what we'll do as well, just so we're a little bit more prepared, is we'll just reload the mag that we've got and top that up. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to forego building any arrows for the minute. So let's just chuck everything in here. Get to building some cabinets. The sun is going down though. But we've got MVG somewhere and we've got a brand new battery too. Yeah, so let's wing... You know what? Just in case we die, I feel like actually we're going to build a bed first. We need to put a flag down first. <laughs> uh, where should we put the flag? Because I kind of want to include that. Crafting, building, flag is here. A super special flag. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with red, though. Ah, okay, here we go. What we want to do, really, is include that cabin, say, there. How far does that get us to the lake, though? Ah, uh, oh. Oh, a bit more. bit more and we could build a wee, jet, a wee jetty just to get us out into the water because that'd be cool so let's do that again place just keep an eye on that blue line right so that's highlighting the bushes that are right behind and we want to include What do you reckon? Let's try that. Ah, that's ideal. Okay, let's see what we get on the other side. Oh, so we're about there. So yeah, that's going to get us a jetty out. Because we can see the little fishies down there right now. They are waiting to be caught. So we'll be able to cook here. We'll be able to fish here. Oh, look. You can uh, see one of the stands for the trenches up there. So let's build... Let's finish building this. What do we need? Eight rags, eight metal... Eight rags and eight metal. Um, a couple of bolts. So, oh, we need the toolbox. And I brought all these clothes with me so we could cut them up for rags. Look, see, one. I will have to find. I'm sure I picked up some scissors as well. 
Metal, metal, metal. There's another one. Another one. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Rags. Yeah, I think that's it. So, pair, pair of scissors. I'm sure I picked a pair of scissors up. I'm sure I did. They're so good. I haven't got them on me, have I? No. They're so good for cutting up clothes. If you find a pair of scissors, keep them. What is it? There's some metal in there as well, so that's useful. We got this for cutting up the twigs we need for the bed, so that's good. Okay. You're going to be yelling at me if I do have a pair in here, but... can't see them. That's okay. Oh wait, unless... Because I'm not wearing half my clothes. Not in there. Oh yeah, I took my socks off. Put them back on. Nice. I could have sworn I picked up some scissors. Anyway, never mind. We will use that because that's what I picked it up for. Yeah, if you get the chance with scissors, you'll get a much, much bigger yield if you cut anything up using them. So let's cut up. Cut the rags. Yeah, we need eight. Then we'll get a bed set up in case I die at the petrol station. <laughs> it's like two. <sighs> so if we see a pair of scissors, we need to pick them up. Unless, of course, at the end of this episode. Five. He's shouting at me going, they were in there the whole time. Or I'm going to find them later. Now I think I've got the sun going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. We need rags for the bed anyway. I'm only going to build a cot. And to be honest, it can be anywhere. It's not like I've got any players to worry about. I might just place it straight next to the flag, to be honest. Uh, right. Et voila. We now have a flag. Show flag area. There we go. We got anything left on the ground? Yes, we do. We'll take all of that. Yeah, I think sunset's 11. 11 p.m. Sunrise. I don't know. I'm going to have to go in and check. I haven't, I haven't checked for ages. Or do we stick the bed up? We could stick the bed up there. Kind of out the way. It's not going to get in the way of anything. Right, what do we need for a bed? Like I said, I'm only going to build one of these cots. Rags. Who knows? Rope and sticks. So... Um, how much rope? Because I could make some rope. Cutting up more items. There was some more in here, wasn't there? Yeah, look. I suppose I won't know until I put it down. We'll take that for the twigs. And, and, here. Put this in our hands. So this saw is brilliant for bushes. Anything you want to produce uh, sticks, this hacksaw, well, it used to be. I hope it's still the same. Also gives you an amazing yield. So like five sticks instead of three for using an axe, that sort of thing. Of course you flung your way off that way. But that's okay because I think... I'm trying to think from memory how many long sticks it takes. Isn't it like... Is it three or five? I'm pretty sure it's long sticks too. 
create, you know what, we'll just take six. Uh, rope, let's go see. Because all I really need to do is spawn. What's that? Chili pepper seeds. Anything else up here? No. Right, so. Let's just plunk it right in the middle. I keep pressing B for build. Crafting. Place. Oh, wait. Why can't we put it up here? It's in the flag area. It doesn't like it. Hmm. Oh, it likes it down there, but it doesn't like putting it up here. Well, that's a bit rude. Alright. You know what, then? We're going to go and stick it out by the flag. Probably end up running it over with the, uh, with the car, but that's okay. Because we must be able to build it right there. Four eggs, four bits of rope, and three long sticks. Okay. Oh, okay. So we can, we can, we can. Go back here. Craft one of these. That'll be enough. We just need a couple more rags. Yeah. I didn't need to do that because I think I've got, yeah, I've got these on here. You can use these as part of rope as well. Yeah, just a couple more rags then. Nice. Uh, do that. And do that one. Rags, please. Please give me two from this entire shirt. Pretty please. Plus the house is far enough back. There we go. And we'll just pick the rest of that up. Yeah, I bet you it used these down here. Well, maybe it didn't. Don't know. No, because that's 10 out of 10. I don't know. It used something. The... That incessant frog sound. You can't hear it back here. That's the other nice thing. You only get it when you're down there, so... So that's a bed made, that's the flag put down, so if I die, we got somewhere to come back to. So before the sun goes down, let's go to the petrol station. Just leave this all here, can't fit that in. How about that? No. Just in case, there's some good stuff there. We make ourselves nice and empty. Have we got enough? Uh, yeah, we got enough money to fill up. So we've got... What have we got? These two little ones. Let's put these in my backpack. And this big one. That's what we want to fill up. We'll leave the box here. It's not going to go anywhere. Thankfully in single player, I ain't got to worry about anybody. Running off with your stuff. We'll just leave the door open. Alright, should I really actually, before we do anything, repair this car? Well, repair the main chassis anyway. I'm sure I've got a repair kit in here. Yeah. So I'm just going to repair the chassis to start with. I know that doesn't fix everything. I know it doesn't, but... Saying that, we are doing some off-roading. Should we see what the tyres are like? Oh wait, you can't. What are you doing? Stop that. It doesn't let me repair the tires. That's alright then. Alright. Let's go. We can fill the car up actually. We'll just fill everything. We'll fill the car up. If it, that's having said that, that's if the petrol station see if we've got enough fuel. Alright, so all we got to do is cut across the field here. It should be relatively flat. Hopefully there'll be no more epic car rolls. She says. 
this is the file I was talking about. I had a I had a mild rant uh, when uh, the uh, the homing pigeon uh, sense of the zombies was still on, and they all came running out of the forest. All right, petrol station way easy target easy easy. It's just here, and it's anybody's guess these days, isn't it, whether the zombies spawn in. Do you remember back in the day when they were in? They were always there. And that far tree uh, in the courtyard always had a zombie, uh, always had a beeper underneath it. Oh. Did I just see. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> I thought I just saw that top of a head of a zombie poking up. Get shedded. I just hit. Oh, he's over there. Whoa. Get out the car, get out the car, get out the car. Faster, 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 faster. Damn this spawning system. That's what I'm going to sell them out of. So I, I... The reason I drove off, I don't know whether you heard it. There's a giggling I would heard from... It sounded like it was inside the shop, actually. And then, as we drove off, Mr. B Other Beeper, instead of being by the tree, was out in the field. Well, then I know where he is now. Yeah, I know you see me. Come here. <coughs> Is there three? Is there three beepers? Is there a beeper in the goddamn shop? Excuse my language. I didn't bring any arrows. I know I didn't, but this just has a wicked zoom. Is he in the shop? He is as well. Total git. And there's Mr. Other Beeper over there. You total turds. Oh, is he going to walk straight out of the shop? Look. All I need to do is get the beepers, really. Everything else is secondary, really. I think there's three. I think there's three. I think there's this one in the shop, which is ready to walk out. There's definitely... Oh, there he is. See him? Right there. Did anybody else hear that? There's still one out in the field. I don't know whether that's another one. And then possibly this guy. Well, 
Where's he gone? Because normally what you do to save yourself... Oh, he's still stuck. Normally what you do to save yourself... Is go and jump in the shop. I think... I think that's that was a third beeper. What do you do? Walk out the bloody... Press is doing all right. Mr. Beeper has decided to wedge himself. Right in there. Glitched much. Right. But they spawned in. Do they? Go on, poke your. Oh, I did aggro him. Sorry, I'm just being quiet. Because I'm concentrating. I'm going to take that. Oh yeah, you can see them all down there. Right. The, oh, the mission, should you choose to accept it, is simply to get some bloody fuel. Not kill all the puppets. So, if we can... Oh, money. Yes, please. Oh, a coffee. Yes, please. So, if we can get... us fueled up... I just heard some more bloody giggling. They better not respawn when I get closer. Because I haven't run that far away. It's hardly got any bloody fuel either. All right, chainsaw. One hundred and fifty bucks. I'm not entirely sure why we have to kneel, or why there's a drink option. Can we take that? It's not too much weight. Quick, quick, quick. Right, that's this place empty and we got that half full. But you know what? That's fine. That's all we wanted because we want to get on and build. Three bloody beepers that spawned in in weird bloody locations. One in the shop. Used to be our sanctuary. But they're not spawning in until you actually drive through. That's definitely going to get me blown up, I feel. <laughs> at some point. Alright, back home. I don't think I've messed with the settings as far as the, the petrol stations are concerned. And I think that's why most of the stations don't have a 
have a great deal of fuel in them. Now I suppose I've gone in the area, out of the area, so when I come back... Oh, the zombie's not going to spawn in. That's the question. But we now have... Actually, rather than building a fence, we could just build a ton of cabinets from that to there, couldn't we? Rather than fences. That would work. That would work. Craft. Base building. Storage. Because they don't seem to degrade being outside. And it allows us it lets us stick it on the ground, so we could just do that, can we? There. Well, it's straight with the house. Not very straight with that, but that's okay. We could always have like a little weak corner or something going on. Hmm. Ah, oh, I tell you what I wanted to find out, wasn't it? We gotta try it. We gotta try it. I want to build. I want to see if one of those will fit in there. Ah. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's so disappointing. Wouldn't that been so cool if that would fit in there? Man. And you know what I wish you could do like a lot of other games is I wish you could destroy items that you don't want. So like you don't want the table, we could destroy that, or the chair, and we could destroy this too, but you can't. It doesn't, it's not an interactable item. Well, that's not true. We could hit it, like we can hit the rest of the house, but we can't do anything to it. Hmm... Well, we don't want to cook outside. So I guess... I guess... We'll stick it there. Place. Yeah. And then we can... We'll build this. So we need six rocks. Four of these. Hey. There's some more here. <laughs> Sweet. One rag. It's probably in the car. Because I just lobbed everything in here, didn't I? Is there, a, is there a rag line about? In here? One rag. Just one. Just... No, I won't sing that. Right. Well, I got that. I got that for making rags. Oh no, wait, we can use anything? Damn it. Um, We can use then... That, it says. There we go. And six rocks. That should be relatively easy. Ah, uh, do you remember back in the day when you could search a rock pile loads of times? One, two, three. Four, five. And six. Let's put this in here. Nice. And then the grill. Oh no, we need to find that, don't we? Although we can craft one, I think. Does the crafted one still work? Can he still build a crafted one? Just asking his random questions and not really looking for the answer. Let's have a look. Because you used to be able to build an improvised one, didn't we? But I don't see it now. Unless it's... Oh yeah. Improvised grill. What do we need? Cans? Metal, sticks, and a saw. Did I? Oh, four cans. Oh, did the sticks despawn? Damn it! 
the butt. It's not like there aren't plenty of sticks around. Right, let's get... I'll tell you what. Let's finish. Let's at least get some storage lockers up. Forget about the grill for the minute. So we want... Let's put these back in here. Uh, get a toolbox. Which I know we've got one. So I chuck it in the car. Yes. And... Um, you know what? Metal might be an issue though. How much metal does one of those things take? Eight pieces. Ouch, we might need to go metal hunting. That's a good place for metal. Oh, the airfield, but that's just asking to get shot. The city. We could go to the city, you know, actually, for metal. Just where the um, supermarket is, is a massive car park. Are we, ser are we seriously going to be short? Let's just take all these loose... Two, and 13 planks, okay. Right, so we'll take a log. Right, do you see any more metal? Take that, that. Night vision, probably gonna need those. We'll put that on our back. Taking hands for the minute. Oh, and another log, sweet. Plank. Another plank. And then, let's see. And I'm going to put that in the car. So I can put that on my back. And then have a look in the box. Look, look, look. Any more metal? Oh, we could have got metal. At Actually, we could get metal at that local farm. There's definitely a couple of burnout cars there. But then we're going to need a shit ton, aren't we? It makes sense just to make the one trip. But then I really, I really... Oh no, and there's a cargo drop. Oh no, there's a cargo drop. <laughs> uh. mm. But we've got the car now. We've got the car, we'll just mow them all down, depending on where it is. Alright, let's... Cut these two... Let's cut these two up. Okay. First time. Nice. Win planks, please. Now, what you can do to get the chainsaw going rather than going in and right clicking and asking it to start is just press. R. If it's in your hands, just press R. And then you can press R to. Um, Stop it again as well. Oh, that's all we need is... Oh, wait. One bolt or nail. Wait, let's put that in our backpack for the minute. We've definitely got that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Definitely somewhere. If not, we can just get out of the box. I just want to see if there's any more loose... Okay. We gotta go up to that farm. We got to. We just see two bits of metal. Two bits. Two bits of metal. Let's just lob this in the car so I'm nice and light if I need to leg it. But yeah, I definitely think actually we're gonna have to make a run to the city. Just so we can basically fill the car up with metal. And that'll be fun, with uh, the zombie numbers I've got. Right, we're going to get this bit of metal, and then we're going to have a quick look and see where that drop's landed. All I want is two bits of metal and not get involved. <laughs> two bits of metal. Not get involved. Alright, drive. Hey! Alright, now... What we can do 
as well take I don't know whether this is this is too heavy. Taking hands. No, we can Oh, it's a weird shadow. Okay. Alright. Let's just I'm gonna slob everything in. drop. It's right by the... F it's right by the farm? Have I got everything I need? Yeah, I do. Am I empty? Pff, pretty much. That drop is right by the farm. That's all I didn't look at it. It'd be in the trees, wouldn't it? Let's go see. Oh, it's landed on the road? Interesting. Look at them all. Look at them all. Yeah, you. Come on, everybody. Follow me. Come on. Come on. dead, so I think we've just got one left. Don't get stuck on the bloody log. Right. Nice! Let's go see what the crack is. Loads of time! Alright, let's see. See what we get. Something nice. Something exciting. Yeah. Right, I'm going to leave that in there, though, so it doesn't use it. Oh, yeah, we need to put some clothes on this girl as well. Oh, very nice. We'll keep those as well. Uh, we'll overtake and sell it. Nice. We need the alcohol because it will help us. Right, this is the weapons locker. The alcohol will help us uh, disinfect rag, so we'll take it. Oh, hello. I don't think we found an AS file yet, though, but that's all the kit for it, so nice. Alright, let's get the rest of this. Definitely take those. So, yeah, if we find an AS file. Oh, I thought they would have despawned by now. Let's get, our, some, get some awareness going. Yeah, so for those of you who asked uh, with regards to the puppet numbers. Uh, no. I don't have any control over the number of puppets that spawn at the drop. I believe from testing it is roughly three times what my settings are for the rest of, you know, what I've got as the settings for the zombies. Now, if I turn the zombies down in order to make the drops more...
copable easier then we won't see so the puppets that I killed when I first logged in there wouldn't have been say 10 there there would have been like two or three in a push so what do I do do I turn the zombies down just to make this more manageable on foot and not be mowing them down with the car because if you think about it there's say I don't know 24 or 30 puppets here that's your entire 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. How much time we got? Loads of time. Stop that! 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23. Yeah, about 24. That's your stack of arrows, isn't it? That's uh, two mags of bullets, I suppose. So you'd make it more manageable, say turn it down to 12, and then in the towns I've only got two or three puppets roaming around. Which makes it less exciting? I mean, the, the puppet spawn system at the moment is a bit jank, so there's exciting and then there's other words to describe it, so but at the minute, it does make it more exciting, doesn't it, if there are more puppets to speak of. But if you were on foot, and this was your level of zombies, it would be tough. Um, because, I mean, with the bullets, I guess if you get a headshot each time, you would just be 24 bullets. But arrows, again, that would be a headshot, I guess. If you got any chunks, which actually we didn't. There was another one there. So how many is that, then? I'm really surprised they haven't despawned, actually. So yeah, one, two, three... Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Well, that doesn't make any sense unless we did have some despawn. Hmm. So 27. 27 puppets. If I've counted right, which I might not have done. Sorry, I paused there because I think there's a glitch with the sound of the car, so... drop the drop so we'll do so we've got the drop we've built a cabinet built a cabinet one whole cabinet we built a fire we've built a bed so at least now if we die we've got somewhere to spawn back to if it's worth it I mean if you're at the other side of the map you'd spawn in the sector wouldn't you But if we're close by and we die, say we decide to wander over there to the boot camp and we get blown up, spawning back here would be perfect. So I think what we'll do next episode, perhaps, is we'll do a run to the city because, 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 I'm going to chuck that in there, actually, and that. I'm going to stay... Did we have a yellow screwdriver, or did I use it? I don't think I do. i tell you where I went recently. I don't know whether it's the case. It was on a multiplayer server. I went to the salt mines, which are all the way here went to the salt mine and found, along with a lot of salt, I found a lot of screwdrivers, yellow-handed screwdrivers, and sharpening stones. Oddly. I don't know why. 
don't know what's so special. There we go. Oh yeah, we're still we're still hungry. We ate an entire MRE. Uh, MREs not don't hold the same clout as they used to. Yeah, we're still in fact. Oh no, we wait. We ate it and used it. Vitamin D is not good, but that's okay. We've got. Well, we just got some vitamins, haven't we? Just got some vitamins. We'll just neck a couple of those. That sorts out. Sort us right out. And she's cold as well, so we'll find her shirt wherever that is. And we'll put a jumper on. And for the moment, we'll just put a scarf on. That'll. So we're going to keep what I think to possibly be useful in this chest. Which would include... Uh, can you make some match? Threads and fishing line. Oh no, we want the fishing line for fishing. Don't do it. Definitely put that away. So, let's pack the car up. Back the car up. And offload. This might work out well actually using um, the storage units as a fence. Because we can just back straight up to it and offload straight into them. That would be cool. That, 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 that. Definitely keep the jack. I know there's certain stuff. Am I not carrying one? I do have one, okay. There's stuff here that I want to sell. Oh, arrows. Sparrows, we want those, even if it's only a few. <coughs> Stop that. There's some weird... glitchy noises going on. Like, the car, when it was parked over there, Sounded like it was making... You know when I ran out of petrol and the sound of the car just going across the dirt or the the tarmac? It keeps intermittently making that sound. I'm going to just make sure I don't have anything on me. Oh, was that the shirt? I can't remember, even remember if that was the shirt we were wearing. No, because it doesn't have anything in it. That's fine. Take that. I suppose we should... Oh, yeah. We'll put that away for the minute. Yeah, I don't know whether I'm being... When I'm being quiet, you can hear that. Because it's making some weird noises. I'm quite impressed how big this bloody storage shelf is. That hasn't got anything in it. Are we wearing pants? No. Nope. Oh no, we could do a keep in that, couldn't we? In the car. In case we run across another petrol station. Like sun, Cloud and Sun are doing weird things. And yeah, we need to go via petrol station anyway. Ideally not the one in the city, because that would be a royal nightmare. To run puppets down at. I don't know whether you can get on the roof of that one though, you know. I don't think I've tried. 
Does my gun need repairing? No, not really. So we'll leave the spine. Do I have anything that could do with repairing? With a toolbox. I don't know why I'm carrying that around. Terrible condition. No, I don't. Right, the box is just here. Oh, and I've got spares in there anyway. So now we should be able to... Yeah, insert one of these. Let's just use that one then for the time being. I know that's bright, sorry. I figured we probably need a drink. Yeah. Drink all. So let's put that all in there. Spares. We'll take... Um, put the rest in there. We'll take that. I've got some arrows, so I need to build some arrows for sure. Let's put the box, which is now empty, back in the car. I can't believe the puppet clothes are still around, but the sticks despawned. Taking hands. And then we're going to be completely ready for a trip to... city. I think that's what we're going to do. Not to explore the city mines, uh, but simply to get a metal. We're going to do a metal run. But I think as far as where we are, we've only got to get to the supermarket, which I'm trying to think actually. That's the hospital end. not the western side. It's not northern. I think it's here. I think this is it here. So we're really not very far away. Ah, oh, no. But we go to the city at night time you got this fog, haven't you? But then we're only going to the car park. It'll be fine, she says. She says it'll be at Absolutely fine what you're talking about. <laughs> right, that will suffice. And we are prepped and ready to go for the city and protecting ourselves. Oh, look at that. Wait, we're just going to get back on the roof. Just so we can appreciate the sunset. Look. <laughs> and I've got my graphics settings down quite low, actually, for the clouds, just so it gives, it, you know, it's better everywhere else. That's nice, eh? I'm screenshotting it. <laughs> oh, wowza. Look at that. Look at that. He left the door open. Whilst the sun's shining. That's mad. Oh, bloody hell. Alright. Yeah, look. We just sit and look out the window. Right, next episode then, we're going to carry on. We're going to go for a metal run in the city. It's going to be night time. There's going to be fog and possibly lots of puppets. But I am just going for metal. We will do the city properly a different time. Then we're going to come back and continue to build this base up as we want. But we need the metal ideally to do it. And I mean, ideally daylight too. Um, just for lopping down trees and things of like that so you're not watching everything through you know a pair of night vision so yeah so this is where we're going to leave it i'm going to say 
Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll say thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy and take care. Thank you.